when I'm learning something new, I like to create flashcards so that I can memorize the information. The idea is very simple. You take a concept and then create a flashcard based on that. And you simply review those flashcards to revise the information. And I use this a software called Anki, which is really helpful in creating flashcards. It uses spaced repetition for reviewing material at systematic intervals. However, the biggest trouble is creating these flashcards. Not only you have to read and understand things, but you have to spend extra time to create these flashcards. But today, I'm going to show you how you can automate this whole process. So in this video, I'm going to show you that based on the document that you're studying, how you can automatically generate questions and answers and then export them in a format so that you can import them back in Anki. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to be using the Constitution of the United States, but this will work on any PDF file. Uh, so first, we need to create a virtual environment. So I'm going to say I'm using Conda for this, but you can use any other manager. So I'm, let's call it Anki. Let's click Enter. All right, so my assumption is that you already have Python installed on your system. All right, so we simply created uh, a virtual environment called Anki underscore cards. Okay, next we will just uh, activate the virtual environment. So that's going to be done using Conda activate Anki cards. And you see, uh, we are in the virtual environment now. Okay, next we need to install all the required. Next, we need to install all the required dependencies. Uh, so we just need two packages. One is the PY PDF2 and OpenAI. In order to do this, uh, we're going to do pip install requirements.txt. And so this is going to be GitHub repo. Okay, so the requirements are already met. So let's start creating our code base. I have this file called anki underscore flashcards underscore creator dot pi. And this is the one that we're going to be here, our code. So first, I'm importing all the required packages. As I said, we need a PDF file reader. Uh, we're using ChatGPT, that's why we're uh, importing OpenAI. And then we just need to import the uh, operating system module. Okay, next, uh, we're simply defining our OpenAI API key. So usually, or the best practice is that you want to create a virtual environment variable and assign it to that, and then you just read it here. But uh, I'm just scrappy here. Okay, uh, next, I'm simply defining uh, the root directory. So basically, uh, this will store the address of the directory where this uh, Python file is. So everything is going to be relative to this path, and that's why it's going to be a lot easier uh, to work with. Next, uh, we want to write this function where we're going to be uh, reading a PDF file. So you simply provide uh, the path of the file, and then it uses this PDF uh, PY uh, PDF2 library or package to read the file. It creates this reader object and then it goes through each and every page, extract text from that page and put this into this text object. Okay, so here uh, I'm simply printing the text uh, from the file. So let's see uh, if it actually works or not. So I'm going to say Python and then on K. Okay. So, uh, yeah, so you see that it actually printed all the text that's contained in the file. So this step works. Okay, uh, next we need to divide our text into smaller uh, sections because uh, the idea is that we're going to be providing uh, text to the ChatGPT or any other LLM, right? And then we will let ChatGPT or the LLM decide uh, to divide into question and answer. So it will, based on the text, it will generate, automatically generate uh, a, a question and then also the corresponding answer. And now, uh, there is one small issue. Uh, all of these LLMs have uh, something called context uh, window. So it's the amount of text it can process or the amount of tokens it can process, right? So in this case, uh, I was looking at uh, this specific uh, file, right, and it has around 55,000 tokens, right, so you cannot give this to a chat GPT because uh, chat GPT has a context length of only, uh, I think, 4,098 tokens. Now, if you have a bigger file, 
uh, that you're working with. So a simple way would be to divide into smaller uh, chunks that you can uh, feed into ChatGPT for creating these question answers for your flashcards. Um, so for that, I came up with this divide underscore text function, which simply takes your text and then divide it into smaller uh, uh, predefined chunks, right? So in this case, I'm just playing around with 1000 tokens, but it can be anything. You can set this parameter. Okay. Uh, so next is this create Anki cards, and this is the main function where all the magic is happening. Now, so we are reading the PDF file and then we are passing on all the text uh, to this function. Now, for this a specific example case, I moved my uh, text division function here. So we're creating um, those chunks here. And you can do the ch this chunking process using LangChain as well. But for this specific application, that is going to be an overkill. All right, uh, one more thing. Then I'm simply taking uh, the first chunk because uh, I just want to show this for demonstration purposes. Uh, but let's say if you want to go over all of them, then you probably want to have a for loop um, that goes through all the chunks and uh, does this process for each one of them. Now, in terms of our prompt to uh, chat GPT, uh, we are using this system message in which we are assigning a role to the system. So in this case, we are telling it that you are a helpful assistant. Now, in terms of the actual prompt, here's what's happening. So we are uh, asking it, create Anki flashcards uh, with the provided text using the format. So it's going to have question, then semicolon answer, then next line, question, semicolon answer, right? Then I'm adding keep questions and uh, the corresponding answers on the same line. I found that uh, if I don't include this, then it puts question uh, and then the answer is on the next line. But we don't want that because uh, for Anki, we want the question and answer to be separated by a simple semicolon. And next, uh, we are simply providing the text that uh, we are reading. Now, we take that message or prompt and then uh, pass it on to the OpenAI API. So for this specific case, we're using the uh, chat completion API, API right? Uh, the model that I'm selecting is a GPT 3.5 Turbo. So it's the chat GPT model. It's one of the uh, cheapest model in terms of uh, the cost, right? Then we pass it on the message that we created along with the system message. Uh, I'm setting the temperature to um, 0.7 to give it some flexibility and freedom of creativity, right? And then you can set the maximum, uh, the max tokens as well. Now, you definitely want to play around with these parameters uh, for you, your own applications. Then uh, from uh, calling this function, we'll get a response. And in the response, we want to separate the contents. Uh, next, I'm printing those call the response from the API and then also writing the response uh, to a text file. And in this case, I'm calling the text file flashcards.txt. Okay, so with all this updated code, uh, let's run the code and see what happens. Uh, so first, if you see here, uh, it actually uh, printed everything. Uh, I think I had a print statement here. So I'm gonna actually just comment this and now here's the output from uh, ChatGPT. So you have a question, then followed by semicolon, and then the corresponding answer. So here's the file, and you can see that it is actually uh, following the format that we defined. Okay, so next we're going to go to Anki, and then click on Import Files. And here is uh, the file that we just generated. So let's import this. And when you import it, you can actually see it's in the correct format. Uh, so you see, uh, you have the question, then the corresponding answer, and they are separated by semicolon. You can, uh, in your system prompt, you can tell it to do it by tab or colon or comma, right? But I think semicolon works best. So this is how it's going to look like. You're going to have the front, that is going to be the question, and then the back is going to be the answer. So let's simply import this. It's asking me uh, notes found in the file. So there are 11 different questions answered. I'm gonna close this. And here we have our deck. 
Okay, uh, so I simply renamed that. If you want to rename a deck, you simply go here to this wheel, click on rename, or you can assign it whatever name you want, right? And now you can actually start studying. So for example, let's say, uh, what is the Constitution of the United States, right? Here is the answer. And then if you are not familiar with the Anki, so you simply select whether it's uh, easy, good, hard, and uh, again, all right? So these are basically the time interval after which it's going to show you, for example, if it, I, I say it's a very easy question, so it's going to show me uh, uh, within four days, right? So here's another uh, uh, question, then uh, you can just look at the answer and select, right? So it's basically uh, space-time repetition. Now, this video is very different uh, from the one that I you usually see on my channel, but I just wanted to show you how you can automate different things with the help of ChatGPT. Now, I want to highlight one thing. You can actually uh, do this in ChatGPT environment, especially with the plugins, if you have the paid version. So there are plugins which can read PDF files and you can use the same prompt uh, to create flashcards for you. However, if you do it uh, through the code, it gives you the flexibility of automating everything. And you can uh, even give it multiple PDF files at the same time and it will go through the process and create those for you. I'll put uh, this code on GitHub in the ring a link to the repo is going to be in the description of the video. If you found this video useful, uh, consider liking the video, give it a thumbs up uh, and subscribe to the channel if you are not already subscribed. We also have a Discord server now for the channel. Uh, there are some great folks who are helping each other out. So come join us. If you want to consult with something, somebody uh, to automate your own business processes, you can reach out to me. Details are in the description of the video. As always, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.